Hey there guys, it's Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today we're going to take a look at three licensed Glock replicas from Umarex USA. These things are pretty cool. Okay, so before we get started, I want to say thank you to Pyramid Air for sponsoring Airgun Web in these videos. When you're looking to get your next air gun, looking to get your next batch of supplies, you need some CO2, some BBs, looking for that perfect, you know, air gun gift for that air gun guy or air gun gal in your life, please do it at www.pyramidair.com and also please let them know that Rick sent you their way. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got three Glock pistols here. I've got a Glock 19, a little compact. And I've got a Glock 17, this is I believe Gen 3, and I've got a 17, this is the new Gen 4. Now these guys, while they are the 17, same basic shape, same basic feel, they're both blowback, they have all that going, I mean they look the same. They are very different in how they operate, and that's one of the things I want to talk about today. But I'm going to start over here with this little 19. So this is the least expensive option, it's probably around... I don't know, probably about $70, $75 in that sort of price range. It's got a regular dropout mag here, kind of a little mag stick. And I really like the way they've done these as far as loading. Each of these loads pretty easily. And if you guys have ever played with some replica pistols, that can be part of the equation that kind of is in a real pain. But they've done a good job here. So this one simply locks open like that. And then you can drop your BBs in and you're good to go. Now this one, as you can tell, the CO2 stays in the gun. We'll go over that in just a second here. Okay, that's full. All right, so the CO2 stays in the butt, right in there. The cool thing about this is they give you the tool to actually seat the CO2 as part of that little grip here. So I like that a lot, frankly. I think that's pretty cool. And we drop that in and now you're good to go. It's got a safety right here in the trigger, kind of a cross block safety. All right, so it's on fire. To fire, it's really, really simple. Double action only. You're gonna go ahead and aim it in your, you know, the direction you wanna fire and gently squeeze the trigger. And then we're out. So as you notice, no blowback. Trigger actually on this is really pretty decent. It's really smooth. So actually for you know a, a small compact replica, it feels really good. It's relatively accurate, just a nice little pistol. And it's budget friendly for sure. Now we're gonna go up to the Model 17. And this is a little bit bigger. This one has your full blowback going on here. And the big difference between this one and this one from what I can see uh, the way the mag works is way better on the Gen 4. And there is a price difference. This one's about 100 bucks. This is about 130 give or take a little bit. And if you notice here, that little piece, I'll put it down here, that little piece rocks. So every time you pull the trigger on this gun, you're actually manipulating that little piece. Any dirt, any little bit of grime, anything gets in the way there, and that's going to affect your trigger pull. And that's what I found to kind of be a little bit of a stickler on this one. So again, you want to keep that lubed up. Loading it, it locks up. So let me go back here. Locks open for you. And then BBs just drop down. Really simple to load this. And I'll run through the mag here so you guys can see it operating. All right, now we're full. All right, so this is all loaded up. Uh, under here is where your, your CO2 is gonna go. When this is ready to roll, drop it in there like that. There's a safety up under here. So that's on safe and that's on fire. Go ahead and uh, drop the slide 
And this works like you'd expect it to. It's all kind of double action. All right, slot locks open when you're done. You can get extra mags, which is very cool. So once you've expended one set, you can maybe switch to another one. And that way this has a chance to recover. So you get more shots, at least more usable shots. Now, that's the, uh, the 19, the 17 previous generation or Gen 3, I believe that's what that is. Now we're gonna get to the Gen 4. The immediate thing I noticed was how much better the trigger is on this model. It's exceptional. Okay, so I'm gonna drop the mag out and I need to put a CO2 in that. We're gonna go through it because the process is a little bit different, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and load up the CO2 here. I've got my Umarex CO2. We're gonna put some silicone on it. Drop it in. Same deal here, you wanna do it super quick to try and not lose any CO2. Oh, that was perfect. All right, now this has a little feature, with a little cap here on the end I'm gonna show you how this works because if you force it, you could possibly break it. Um, this is the, the spring you're gonna to use to load it. Well, it actually pulls from this side too, and that's what lets you get that little end cap off, and that's where you're, uh, you're gonna use your Allen wrench to use your CO2. So I'll put that back into place. I will go ahead and load it. This one also loads super easily. It locks into place for you. And then we're gonna drop our BBs in this way. So each one of these loads a little different. CO2 is a little different, but in the end, they all work pretty much the same. All right, okay. Drop it in, rack it, and now we're good to go. This guy, you gotta watch that trigger, and I'm not kidding. It is very, very light. If you're used to pulling uh, other replicas that have a really hard, long trigger pull, this does not have that. There is a safety under here. So you can slide that, all right, so that's safe. That's fire, so you got that underneath, and then you're ready to roll. All right, just like that. Very, very cool. Um, I really like this new model. Something about it just feels really good. And again, I'll keep going back to just how nice that trigger is. Um, I'm guessing because there's no mechanical trying stuff, it's not trying to move a piece back and forth. It is just really, really nice. Now, I know you guys wanna know about accuracy and we're going to go ahead and set up a target. I'm gonna shoot the Gen 4, kind of give you guys an idea of what that's doing. And we're also probably gonna go out and shoot some steel targets because what we can do today, I couldn't do when I was a kid, at least not safely. But if you're gonna shoot steel targets with BBs, you know you can't use steel BBs. What we've got here is we've got the Excite Smart Shot, which are lead coated with uh, copper, so they expand on impact. And we've also got the Air Venturi Dust Devils. When you wanna hit reactive targets and kind of get an idea how you're doing, maybe some quick target acquisition, some site training, all that kind of stuff. It's really nice to get the feedback, the auditory feedback from those metal targets. And you've got a couple different options that you can use with these in that sort of training environment. But I'm gonna take a break right now. I'm gonna rearrange the cameras. My target's only about maybe five yards here. We're not really that far away. But we're gonna go ahead and take a few shots and uh, see how this one does for me. Be right back. What we've got is a, is a very short, close range here. We've got a, a like a small silhouette, and I'm using a shoot and see target so you guys can see where the BBs are hitting because it's kind of hard to see them sometimes on the black paper. So I'll go ahead and load this up. All right, we're all loaded up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of draw and acquire and fire a couple rounds and we'll see, you know, see how I do. You ready and go. Okay, so two quick shots, definitely center mass. Let's go ahead and do that again. Ooh, a little low on my first one. I'll draw again. Keeping them pretty much, uh, pretty much center mass is what we want. Ooh, I was slow on that one. Do it again. Okay, so the idea behind this type of uh, 
product, one, it's a ton of fun. So even if you don't have some sort of training application in mind, this is a Glock, one-to-one -one replica, licensed, the real deal as far as that goes. It's a ton of fun to shoot, and it does have all those practical applications if that's something you wanna do. Now we're gonna shift just a moment. We're gonna go out to the range. I'm gonna show you what you can do with some reactive targets. I'm gonna go ahead and for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the Excite Smart Shot. I like those. They seem to hit a little bit harder. The Dust Devils are an equally good option. Um, but you guys are gonna get the idea of what kind of, you know, what you can do with steel targets with something like this, with those, you know, BBs that'll let you do it. So stay with us, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm here on our range. I've got my Air Venturi uh, Cowboy targets set up. I've got the Excite Smart Shot BBs in here. Again, you don't wanna run steel BBs because you don't want any ricochet. They can come back and get you. Now these are angled downward, so you have that added benefit too. So what I'm gonna try and do here is just run these as fast as I can and see how many I can hit out of a full mag. So this is what I find fun. You may or may not find this fun, but I enjoy this kind of shooting, so let's see how I do here. All right, she's ready to roll. All right. Kind of got to the end of my mag there, end of my CO2, I should say. I missed one, <laughs> kind of went to the left on one, but that's the kind of thing I like doing. I think that's a great way to develop some quick target acquisition type of a muscle memory. This is the Glock 17, awesome, awesome little pistol. Let's go back over to the table, we'll wrap this up. Three pretty cool Glock replicas here. Again, we start with the little 19 compact. It's a pretty cool little piece. I didn't have any problems with this. It was very reliable. I don't mind the double action trigger. It was pretty decent. I would prefer personally, I like the blowback for realism, but you're gonna get a lot more shots, I believe, out of this uh, when you're not having to feed that blowback. So if it's just about utility and a lot of shooting, that may be a really great option. Let's take a look at this version of the 17. It's a little bit cheaper. You're looking at about a hundred bucks or so. Um, definitely has blowback. The trigger, you know, if you're in a super clean environment um, and you keep that well lubed, it's probably gonna be fine for you. It's got a good snappy blowback and it feels okay. Um, I did personally find that the trigger pull kind of was a little crunchy. Now, will that smooth out over time? Possibly. You save yourself a few bucks. It is reliable. I didn't have any problems with it not malfunctioning or anything like that. Just a really nice shooting pistol. Now we go to the new Gen 4. This is the most expensive option. You're looking at about 130 bucks, give or take a little bit. And um, what's not to like about it? It has an amazing trigger. It really feels good in the hand. And if you do have like a larger hand, it actually does come with some plates you can add to the back here to actually change the profile and make it fit a little bit better for you. I actually found uh, just out of the box, it was perfect for my grip. But if you have larger hands and you wanna go ahead and add these, you, it does come with these as an option. So you can change that and make it you know custom to you. So that's basically it. Three great little Glock pistols uh, as far as ammo and CO2 goes. I run the Umarex CO2. I find that they really seal reliably and they puncture reliably and that's super important so you don't waste it. Uh, ammo, I run Umrex BBs, these guys right here. Uh, they are great, very uniform, very clean, and they stay nice and shiny for the long term, unlike some of the others that you see. You buy them and a week later, they're all rusted and nasty, and you don't want to run those through your guns at all. Uh, as for the specialty stuff, um, I do like these Excite Smart Shots. They do form on impact. That's really cool if you're gonna shoot reactive targets and also the dust devils. These are gonna fly faster. These are gonna be a little bit slower. These are super light, these are heavier, and these are right in the middle. So those are some options. If you guys are looking for something like this, you know where to go get it. Go to pyramidair.com. They're your airgun experts and they'll take care of you. Guys, that's gonna be it. My name is Rick Kucha here with Airgun Web. We tell you the fags, not fluff. Thanks for watching.